Rogers is still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett. This is the Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight. That's Eastern Daylight Time to most of you out there. Uh, how are you? How's your how's your uh, uh, staying in going for you? Oh, it's starting to drive me nuts. It's starting to drive me batty. What the hell? I don't know. I give up. I give up. Okay. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, what we did the other night is we decided that we were going to go out for a little uh, walk. Well, not for a walk. We ordered food at our favorite restaurant. You know, a lot of these restaurants are really hurting right now, and it'd be really nice if you have one you really like, if you would uh, do something about it and go see them uh, and uh, drop by and uh, uh, buy some food from them and take it home. Because a lot of these places, even though they are uh, uh, not open for seating, they are open for you to do takeout. Now, granted, takeout isn't as good as sitting there and having a civilized meal because there's a certain ritual in that. But we wanted to keep our local guy uh, making a living. And so we decided that we would order dinner. And so we took a walk to go get it. And I thought I would just take you along with us. So this is our little trip foraging for food in the new wilderness. Okay, so this is the first time I think I've been out in how long? A month. A month. A month? I mean, no, I well, no, no, I was out about two weeks ago. We went for a little walk. That doesn't count. It was one block. Right, and now we're all dressed up. We're going to go rob a bank. <laughs> How do you tell the bank robbers from a uh, from a customer at an ATM? Yeah. You know, give me all your money. How do you tell the bank? Yeah. I, did you recognize the mask? What kind of mask was he wearing? Was it blue? Was it white? <laughs> was it black? Look, we got the gloves and everything. We're fully suited If up. I had a hazmat suit, I'd be wearing it right now. That's how much this whole thing frightens me. Okay, there we go. Uh, first time out in uh, two weeks for me. For her, she's gone out. She went out for a walk the other day. But now we have to keep our social distance. By the way, this has been recorded on a Sunday. And we're going to go pick up some food at a restaurant that is our favorite restaurant in the neighborhood. We're doing it to kind of keep him alive. I bet you said he was doing a pretty good business, though, right? Yeah. He had like 100 orders that he was. No, probably more like 25 or 30. Yeah. Guys. Is that social distance? Yeah, no fun. Oh, okay. So, this is what the world is like now, huh? Yeah. And all the trees, all the trees are in bloom. All of them, every little tree. Yeah? Yeah, we've got to see the light. Yeah, it's not a light. Okay. Not as many people out as they're usually out. Well, we're going through a COVID-19 virus. Where is it? It's a pandemic. A pandemic. Yeah. Let me, uh... You wouldn't recognize that, but that's my uh, <laughs> my elderly wife. You better have. Mm. 
Well, you know, there's something nice about nobody knowing what you look like. That's true. Well, they're wearing the N95. Yeah. 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 Uh huh? Oh, yeah, no. I don't like the N95s because they're uncomfortable. Uh, I don't think that's it's like, reminds, it reminds me of the days of wearing a condom. <laughs> but all those people had masks, which was nice. Yeah, I mean, I... Hmm? Have you had people keeping their distance? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Huh. <sighs> The new normal. Look how empty the street is. Yeah, amazing. This is New York City Sunday afternoon, Easter Easter Sunday. Yeah. No Easter parade. This is Easter Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. The president gave an Easter address today. He never gave a Passover speech, though. Yeah, it was probably as phony as his head. And I'm sure there's some kind of Islamic holiday about now. <laughs> I'm sure he's not going to give a Ramadan speech. There is a, a, a nice is a, a, a Islamic holiday. It's a national holiday. And then there they go. Them. They're the masked people. Yeah, this is the new normal. Yeah, they got the... I, I, want, I want one of those black masks. Yeah, you'll get it in June. What was the delivery date? End of May, early June. Early June. Early June. And today I was trying to order some stuff from Costco through uh, that, uh, what do they call it? Um, Instacart? Instacart. Well, isn't that instant? They had nobody available. <laughs> That's how our food, no, no, Fresh Direct is delivering it themselves. Yeah. I can't believe I got tomorrow. I just ordered the stuff on Friday. I added it on Friday. I added it again on Saturday. Yeah. And I added this morning. Yeah, wow. Yeah. What did you add? This morning I added grapefruit juice. <laughs> grapefruit juice? Well, I drink that. We have until when to order more stuff there? We passed the date. It oh, was really? 12 o'clock this afternoon. Oh. Oh, that's a nice mask. Yeah. <laughs> See? Now they're her. coming up with designer masks. You yeah. watch. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh... Is this a restaurant? What? That's not a restaurant. I'll take a doctor's office. The doctor's office. Uh, well, it will soon be a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, gorgeous. my God. Wow, gorgeous. Wow. It's really changed, huh? Yeah, we're spring. We're into it right now. Really? Yeah, there we go. Be a wider, wider shot of that. Oh. Yeah, how nice. She's taking a picture of it. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. You look gorgeous today. Thank you. This bottom shot should be under your chin. Yeah, pull it down. There you go. Okay. What'd you say? I looked what? You look, uh, you look really pretty today. Thank you. Did you put some makeup on? Yeah. Yeah. So imagine living in Syria. Yeah. And you had to wear one of those beekeeper suits all day. This is kind of the equivalent, isn't We're it? We're getting towards it. Yeah. I bet they don't have any coronavirus, but they have to, no, the they whole... Do. Iran has a, a, a big number. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is the first walk I've taken. In a month. And I wish I could say, you know, great to be out in the fresh air, but the thing is, I've got this mask on, and all I'm doing, the fresh air is my own breath. Well, when you're not near people, you could put it like this. When you see people put it up. Uh, uh, get it. <sighs> Where's the restaurant? Where's the restaurant? Right there. Right there. Yep. Venetera. 
If you live in the neighborhood, great restaurant. Uh -huh. In order to see how everybody is walking protectively and they're Did, doing were they, the were they far they're... enough away from me? Yeah. She waited for us to pass, which is the right thing to do. If you don't social distance, you're really not being patriotic. Well, it's, it's, it's more than a patriotic thing. This street's pretty empty too with yeah. cars, you yeah. know. This is a very heavily traveled thoroughfare. And it's not being... No, 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 no. Distance, please. Distance. I know. She wasn't, though. Wow. So this is where we're waiting for our food. He's here. He's a delivery guy from... from Let's see here. First, the restaurant is empty. Uh, and they got some packages there. Give me a first name, please. Uh, Ethan. Ethan, very good. Good. Good to see you yesterday. <laughs> that was my first day out in a month. Thank you. Last night I drove down Fifth Avenue. I didn't see a car until I got to Washington Square. So wow. I saw a bunch of traffic. It was an older couple, very well dressed. They walked right to the center lane of Fifth Avenue, around 56th Street. Wow. Just oh, that's beautiful. That's great. Great, great story. Thank Happy. You. Take care. Hope everything. Hope everything's okay. And glad it's keeping you afloat. <laughs> Thank you. Know. you. Bye, bye, Tom. Bye, bye. That guy on the bike didn't have a didn't have a mask, and he should because he's breathing heavy. And he's also delivering for people. Right after this car, I guess we can walk. So this is quite an adventure for me. Yes. This, is, this is where the croissants were made. Yeah, but can you still get croissants in there? Only two people allowed, only two people out in the store. We are practicing social distancing. And there's nobody in here, so obviously they are practicing. It's still open, though. I mean, huh? the store is open. People can still go in there until, I think, 7 or 8. Yeah. Now, uh, here, you have another restaurant that is... Uh, that is beyond burger. I guess you can order the burgers. All of them with pickups. Oh, but but the in other words the restaurants are open. Yeah, but you pick up. But you have to pick up. Pick up online. Yeah. But like what Tom's saying, it's keeping them afloat, it's keeping everybody, you know, on, on getting salaries. Masks should be required. Aren't they? Haven't they, haven't they become required masks? Masks? Yeah. Pretty much. See the distance outside the right aid? Oh, yeah. Everybody's doing it. It's good. Well, what they do is they only allow so many people in the store at a time. Right. It all depends on the store. I mean, happens. it probably work, moves pretty fast. Now, these are the things that they've had to... Here's what they...
here's what they've had to clean up. They supposedly have somebody who goes from city bike location to city bike location spraying everything down, which is good. But even the city bikes, it doesn't look are that popular. There are only a few empty stalls, but they clean these every couple of hours. Well, they've been very popular. Yeah. I was. I really feel out of shape now. Uh, let me see here. Here we go. Across the street back to our apartment. And that's our most recent tour for all of you. Uh, oops, I have to get across the street here before the light changes. There. Very few cars to run you over, but I'm sure I could get run over, so. Packages from lunch. <clears throat> and ladies and gentlemen, here is dinner. Mm. Oh, let's see, I have the the uh, beef uh, something or another. This is and red. That's um, pasta ragu. Yeah, that's very good there. Oh, very good. And, and this having, is branzini. You're having branzini. How is that? Ah, uh, delicious. Okay. This is the this is the new normal of eating out. This is the Sunday dinner at a restaurant. We're just missing the. Is there anything else you'd like? Are you happy? I'm I'm Alex and I'm your waiter. And uh, what? You had to wash your hands. Why? I had to wipe my face. You had to wipe your face. Okay. Anyway. Bye bye. Glad you joined us for dinner, folks, and have a nice night. And that was our little trip to the uh, restaurant. I hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't much of anything, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Okay? All right. Well, it's time as we uh, do uh, w once every night as we, uh, we go over and uh, take a look at um, our map. And it's changed. You see, we're at uh, 100 and uh, let's see here, 100 worldwide. We are at 101,980,003. Uh, we're getting very close now to 2 million people around the world totally uh, uh, confirmed to have the coronavirus. Now, that doesn't mean that that's everybody that has the coronavirus. That's just the ones they can confirm. If we go to the U.S., well, look at that, folks. Uh, 1,980. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 80,000. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. What? Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's 1,980,003. Wait a minute. No, that's not the U.S. I guess it is. No, that's total confirmed up there in the world. But the U.S., um, well, the total deaths are almost, almost 26,000, almost come to 26,000. Wow. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's not good. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We, uh, uh, we have 25,992. We're almost up to 26. Uh, we have, wait a minute, hold on a second. This thing is supposed to tell us the total deaths in the U.S., but that's not total deaths in the U.S., is it? I guess it is. My God. Yes, you're right. Wow. That's got, that's a lot. That's uh, 25,992. This is depressing. Uh, and uh, also in New York City, 9, 7,905 deaths. 
That's up several thousand today because they started counting some deaths they hadn't counted before. So uh, it's uh, a, uh, Spain, is, you got 18,000 deaths. Italy, 21,000 deaths. Uh, they're still, I think, ahead of us, aren't they? No, they aren't. We're ahead of them now. We're leading the world. We're number one. We're number one. Anyway, that's the way it looks, folks. That's not good. That's not terrific. Anyway, listen, I want to show you something before we go to take our calls. Uh, this, was, uh, this was actually sent to me by, by Rob Alfano, who turned me on to it. And I wanted you to watch it because it's, it's someone we really enjoy doing something you'll really enjoy. Listen to this and listen to the message that goes along with it. Stay the fuck at home. The Rona is spreading. This shit is no joke. It's no time to work or roam. The way you can fight it is simple, my friends. Just stay the fuck at home. Now, technically, I'm not a doctor, but motherfuckers listen when I read a poem. So here I am, Sam fucking Jackson, imploring you, keep your ass at home. If you want things to get back to normal, don't panic. Just use your dome. Wash your hands, stop touching your face, and stay the fuck at home. Motherfucker, it's no time to gamble. Look around. You're not at a casino. Just stay the fuck home as if your name was Trenton Quarantino. Sure, you can still see your friends. Use the motherfucking app on your phone. But unless you just ran out of groceries, please stay the fuck at home. Thank you for doing your part to flatten the curve. Because that shit is steep. And now that you're home, please feel free to go the fuck to sleep. Be And that was, of course, Samuel L. Jackson and uh, Stay the Fuck at Home. Maybe I'll play that again every couple of nights. It's really good. That's really good. If our picture's looking better tonight, than it ever has been, it's because I am sending it out in what we call 1080p, which uh, 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 is, a, uh, is a better, higher def picture than we've been sending out before. It's about, I think it's double what we were doing before, which was 720, uh, but we're sending it out at, uh, at uh, uh, 1080p. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, if you're watching us on like our Facebook rerun, or you're watching us, well, um, any, on any of the other replays, uh, that will not be 1080p. Some of them will be. I don't know. Anyway, picture looks better, does it? In any way, are, are you noticing a better uh, picture? Okay, well, I went to a lot of work to do that this weekend. So anyway, the phones are open now. Let me just turn on my green light. Roxanne, turn on your green light. No, it was a red light, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, so uh, 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 stay the fuck at home. And while you're staying the fuck at home, think about giving us a call. We already have a lot of people watching us right now. Um, and uh, it's getting to be more and more. I guess people are finally finding us because they're so frustrated for entertainment, they, they find this somehow <laughs> entertaining. I, I don't know that it is. But anyway, uh, now we just wait for people to call the program, and we're, uh, we're off to the races. Here we go. Oh, hey, it's Brian Neary. What do you know? Brian, for the, uh, for the second time. Um, well, you were so great the other night, Brian. It was, <laughs> no, really, I'm telling you the truth. Now, let me see here. I got to put you in here. Hold on a second. Let's see here. Brian Neary. There we go. Okay. And I go like that. And then let me put in a few other people. This is this is the slow part of the program where I have to uh, 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 put people, give people a place in line here. Uh, wait a minute. 
What happened to Charlie Wallace? Oh, okay. There, there's Charlie. Uh, wait a minute. Come on, Charlie. Let me see here. Uh, did he? Was, here. Okay. Let me see here. Let me go, Charles Wallace. Uh, there we go. There goes Charlie. We got him added to the group. Now Ray Renati is calling, so we will add him in the number three <laughs> slot here. Ray Sorry, Ren Charlie. Ray Renati, <laughs> where is okay. he? Oh, That's there he is. Good. I'll uh, put that back uh, there. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on a second. I haven't. I am not seeing what you guys are doing because I'm too busy Alex trying to get this. Huh? Alex will not get this reference. Do you? Wait, wait, I, the, Vikings? Uh, something like that. No. It's a football team. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Ravens? Yeah. It's the Ravens? No, it's the Eagles. The Eagles. Oh, Eagles. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Let me see. NFC here. East. There we go. There Charlie's we go. Charlie's rival. Yeah. Uh, I got me... the Cowboys thing in the background. Yeah. yeah. Let me see here. Six. I got to get, uh, get this undone there. And we got Phil there. Okay. So I then... Do a little transition, and uh, here comes Phil back into the room. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you? Hey, Banner Day. Huh? Good. What day is it? Banner, Banner Day. I was touched by another human being for the first time in over a month. You were touched by another human being. How I do you know? I had to get blood work done today. Oh, I see. So you had. <laughs> I've been in my apartment since March 13th. Oh man, that's fun. <laughs> Yeah, I, the uh, only time he got touched was when they put the cuffs on. Yeah, <laughs> I would take that now. <laughs> uh, uh, Phil, I mean uh, uh, Jeff, turn your camera yeah, on. Uh, okay. Come on, come on! I can't, I can't put you on until I got a picture from you. Yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna reset. You, you, Try it again. Okay. So uh, I saw a little bit of, of uh, you and Marjorie, uh, I guess, in the kitchen, but uh, I was feeling a phone call uh, mm. at the same time, so I didn't get to see all of it. It was our, it was our little, my, my first adventure out in two weeks uh -huh. uh, to go pick up food. food. Yeah, the food was good. You know, the thing is, I love that restaurant. The food is really good there. Yeah. But when you take it home, it just doesn't taste the same. I don't isn't care it, how good that it is. Is that Babo's, that Italian restaurant? Or? No, no. Uh, oh. No. Okay, this Italian always tastes better the second day. It's called Venetera. Yeah. And oh. it's, uh, and, and, well, I had this, uh, we had one of the dishes today. Yeah. And it was, it was okay. It was okay, you know. But it's just that there's something, I don't know, about sitting there eating. It's just war it just got warm, you know, and so on. And uh, uh, let's see there. There, uh, there we go. I think uh, Tony Magno is calling. Uh, let me see here. Tony, yeah. let me let me uh, get Tony here. There he's um, live. What was it? Um, there we go. There's him. And. Um, Okay, I'm going to have to do Kevin there. Uh, the f early part of this show has is, is got to be boring for the audience. Uh, let me see here. There's Tony, and then i got to get uh, Kevin in there. Uh, that would be Hog Rider. There he is. Okay. And then let me... Um, I'm going to have to uh, do that. Okay. And then I'm going to have to go over to here to the eight spot and we go seven and uh, who was it that just go oh, and, and Jeff okay Jeff is I believe that I think is it is it is it is it it is it is it is okay and ha ah, there we go there they are uh, Alex yes uh, the the busy street with the cars. Yeah. So you had to wait till the cars went by. Yeah. Is that is that the difference between New York and California? Yes. <laughs> California, if you start walking, they will stop for you. I guess New York, no. In New York, you're a hood ornament if you walk across. 
I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, you're, you're in pretty bad trouble. Last time I was you're, there, I was like, you get out in the middle, the, take two steps, and the guy's yelling at you. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, it's like that in Texas, too. You're in pretty bad trouble in California if you if you don't stop for someone. Yeah. Uh, here in New York, uh, it's like uh, nobody, it's oddly enough, nobody hits anybody. You know, everybody kind of dodges. Kind of dodges. And, Knows how to work knows their way work around it, you know. It. Wait a minute, we got a little little slap back coming from somewhere. There we go. Now we're now we're okay. Oh boy! Mm. You know what I noticed it, about New York? Yeah. It, if you're in a left-hand turn lane and the light changes, yeah, uh, green, mm. everybody moves at the same time. In California, you get one guy moves, then the next guy, then the next guy, then the light turns red again. Yeah. But in, no, and if you don't move. And unison with everyone else, they'll hit you, and then they'll curse you out. They'll say, "What are you, a moron?" You know, <laughs> especially with the phones now, because everybody's looking at their phone at the light, and so when it goes green, there's this stall. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. I, wait a minute. That's wrong. Hold on a second. Where? Where? I got something all screwed up here. You got wait a Sib- minute. I got Sibby Itty there. Who, for- who don't I have on her? <laughs> Uh, bu- 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 a lot bu- of pedestrians get hit in downtown San Francisco. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Uh-huh. because they're looking down at their phones and all those cars are turning right on Market right. Street all the time. Oh, totally. although they're changing that because they're not letting you drive on Market Street anymore. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they're fifty but pointers. The, but but where you live, Phil, the East Bay is the the biggest uh, pedestrian rights place on earth, mm-hmm. especially oh, Berkeley. Yeah. Well, no, San Francisco. San Francisco, they'll stop in the middle of the street if you don't let them cross all the way. And then they'll start yelling at you, giving you the finger, telling you you're a commie or a Nazi or whatever they want to call you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had, I've had that happen. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Well, hey, but, um, but also, it wasn't that difficult because the traffic is usually a lot more there. I mean, you may notice that we, that, that I mean, it, it all that was pretty empty for New York City. Mm-hmm. You didn't see that many people, you know. So anyway, so I went out, and so I'm probably going to die now of coronavirus. So <laughs> goodbye. See you later, folks. You know, uh, but it's amazing. It's just amazing. It was the first time I've been out, and uh, uh, I uh, I enjoyed it. You know, I'm you know it was fine, but you know it's kind of scary. Until you get out there and realize that people aren't coming close to you, mm. you know. The friend of mine I was just talking to on the phone lives mm-hmm. in New York, and uh, he just got over the uh, coronavirus. He said that on Sunday, uh, not this Sunday, the Sunday before, that he couldn't even breathe. His his uh, his chest was so congested, uh, and he you know he called the doctor, and the you know they saw him. And the doctor says you're sick, <laughs> you know, but uh, you know he had. To call- had uh, the the fever the whole the whole nine yards. He, he just got over it. Well, how did he get rid of the chest pains? Uh, it went away. He said uh, it was about two weeks uh, that he had the uh, that he had it, and uh, then it just went away. He said they gave him the uh, the the uh, malaria drug and the zip pa- Z pack, and it did not it did? on him. Mm-hmm. I, uh, they they say it doesn't work. Uh, well, well, let's say, let's ask that? let's ask our expert, Mr. Neary, there. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, and I think I think we all hear this, right? I think it depends on depending on how the person's health is. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have somebody like Chris Cuomo, who it seems you know healthy, works out and stuff, and and he's fighting it with you know hard night sleep, and and I don't think he's taking anything. Yeah. But then you know, other people are taking some of the medication. I'd be scared. Yeah. 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 Well that, well, that particular medication has the possibilities of giving you a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What they said, uh, Fauci or one of the one of the people around Fauci said that if you're going to take that, that you need to get an EKG, because I guess if you're at risk for a heart attack, uh, you may be more susceptible to that taking those drugs. But it doesn't necessarily give you a heart attack unless you have some things that well yeah but you give don't it a know try. give it a try what, what'll happen yeah yeah it's like <laughs> what like, do you got to lose like, like our, pre- yeah. our president's uh, that, yeah. med- <laughs> our president's <laughs> medical information <laughs> go ahead it couldn't hurt you know what you're dying anyway you know give him some chicken soup 
Yeah. Yeah. And chicken my, soup always works. Take my vitamins before I listen yeah. to him. Uh, and now, uh, uh, you know, but it, it's, um, um, what is this other drug that they've got that they use for Ebola? That it didn't work for Ebola, but they think it might work for this. Mm. Uh, it starts with an R, I think. Uh, Robitussin? Uh, Robitussin, right. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be funny if we found out the <laughs> cure? <Chicago game. laughs> wouldn't it be funny if yeah, we found out that the, uh, that the cure <laughs> for coronavirus turns out to be Robitussin? I really... <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep spreading the rumor that nylon carpet fiber uh, will uh, uh, get rid of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. and I'm hoping it picks up and people start buying carpets to, uh, yeah. <laughs> to get rid of the virus. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the um, but Brian, is there any no, new news on the horizon at all that you hear in your neck of the woods? Because he deals with this sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I you know I'm in the <clears throat> no. I'm the director of the all the manufacturing projects, and I think one thing we're tossing around right now is getting the facility that's just doing flu and coronavirus, just because it's going to be so big, not mm -hmm. just during flu season, but we think after. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're we're tossing that idea around just to have a factory just to run that that stuff. Uh, because right you... now we're right now we're fighting for we do MRSA, we do uh, C diff, Epi, we do a lot of other different diseases, and yeah. so now our machines are sort of fighting for time for that, but. We're only running flu and coronavirus. But, so by the way, let me let me let me reintroduce you. Uh, Brian works at a company that doesn't cr doesn't <clears throat> to create these drugs, but they produce them after someone else has created them. Am I right? Yeah, we do, no. Yeah, we do the detection. So we have a cartridge here yeah. that these geniuses thought up, and there's all kind of chambers in here. There's about twelve different chambers inside, mm -hmm. and so what happens is we have uh, machines that. Plastic machines that sort of snap everything together, mm -hmm. and then we inject liquid, the, all the buffers and everything, into certain chambers. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> what they'll do is the doctor will, and actually this is clear waves, so this is also like uh, medical facilities, like uh, nursing homes can use it. Mm -hmm. They just pop, they pop the lid, and there's a big hole here. When you take the swab, you go mm -hmm. ahead and put it in, break it off, close it, and then you put it in our instrument. What it'll do is it does a mixing process, and it puts all the liquid inside this little tube area. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is we split the DNA and then we glue back millions of times. And then if we see the DNA in there, then we know they have the disease or whatever they're checking. Oh, okay. So. It's magic. I don't know how it works. I can find <laughs> different chambers that, uh, that it, that it uh, went through. Yeah, there's like five, uh, eight small chambers, the daisies, and then they have the big chambers around. Yeah, if you go on YouTube, there's a really good video of it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and and that's what you manufacture? Or yes. Yeah, we, I've met, I started that company about 15, uh, 16 years ago and started the manufacturing. I was the supervisor and then moved all the way up to director. So really, we blew, blew up the business just yeah. all from. Well, it's probably <laughs> doing pretty well right about now, huh? Yeah, our, yeah, yeah, we're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> so you got, job promoted, you got sure. promoted to the uh, to India. You're 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 doing yeah. the math back in India. Yeah, so we're trying to get into India and China really big, and so the government wants a certain percentage of the stuff built there. So we uh, are I'm in charge of building up facilities for India, two facilities there, China, and then we have some bigger projects down the road that are going to be pretty big. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, anyway, it's it's um, you know things are uh, I don't know. Oh, here, here uh, remdesivir is the name of the drug I was thinking of. Uh, American Patriot just put it up here. I think it's remdesivir is the name of it. Yeah, um, uh, riboflavin. Yeah, riboflavin. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it, it really uh, it's it, this is not fun. This is not fun. It's, I noticed that Ray has a green screen. Are we going to have to put up with that tonight? <laughs> no, I'll take it down. I needed it for something else earlier. Oh, uh, does it work? Okay. Entertainment. Yeah, it works. Yeah. yeah why did well, you? I mean, can you do green screen on Skype? I yes. No. Uh, well, I can. No, okay. I don't know if I can do green screen on Skype, but I can. I, I can green do green screen on this system I use here. Yeah, but 
you can. Uh, no, I mean, can we, I do a green screen no. that would then go on to? Okay, no, then I'll no. take it down. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, 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 I was I was going to buy this one that actually you just uh, you just pull it up. It just it has yeah. springs on the side of it, and it just goes straight up. But uh, I I it, now when you want to buy anything from Amazon, it's really not but worth buying. Uh, because I, I saw, uh, you know, how long it would take for me to get it, and I think they can get it to me by May fifteenth or something like what that. What are it from B and H or Adorama? Those guys uh, deliver pretty quickly too. It, it, well, no, I'm trying to get it through Amazon because it's a certain brand, and they don't have it at Adorama or at uh, uh, oh, at, at what B and H. Uh, the, the, you know, I don't know what the brand is. Uh, I got mine through Adorama, but I don't. I, I didn't care for it. It was it was really cheap piece of garbage. Really? Yeah. Mm. Fabric is okay, but the thing that holds it was junk. Yeah. Well, anyway. So anyway, we were up to about uh, forty-four people here tonight, and now we're down to twenty-nine. So uh, we better pick up the uh, slack here. <laughs> I guess Phil started talking, and everybody started dropping <laughs> off. Yeah. Uh, so, you hey, know, Alice, can I switch over to my computer if I hang up on this? Mm -hmm. If it's the same uh, Skype number. Yeah. Yeah. It is? Yeah, we okay. got nine. Mm -hmm. It'll okay. be the callback. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, that friend mm -hmm. of, that I was talking to is the first person I know that has had the virus. Uh, you know, uh, everybody else is sheltered in place, mm -hmm. but this guy is the first guy I know personally that that's had the virus. I know Tony said that he had the Yeah, my cousin Joy, she's getting over it still, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, she's doing better, though. She doesn't have a fever. So she's she's doing good. I'd say she's out of the woods now, but it was, she was kind of, you know, touch and go for a while, I don't believe. Ray, turn on your camera. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Hey, good. Uh, but, it, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's, this whole, whole thing is, it, there's nothing exciting about this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, yes, Jeff. Well, our friend who's uh, in the 90s, mm -hmm. she's in a, a senior system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think three people in that place are sick right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's very dangerous if you think about it. Well, I mean, at her age, it's, you know, it's, and where's she going to go? I mean, she, she's stuck. It, 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 absolutely. Well, I mean, these yeah. uh, these nursing homes have seemed to have been a real, I guess if I can use a, a technical <laughs> term, clusterfuck, you know? Well, they are, but, you know, the people are working their ass off to try to keep everybody clean. Yeah. yeah. And, and to survive it, but it's, it's a... It's a big thing that's going to not survive easily. Yeah. Well, Did you guys see the, the mass graves that they had in New York? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, those were for the people who they didn't know who they were. Right. Okay. Yeah. So they went to what we what sometimes they used to call Potter's Field. Potter's. Potter's. Uh, it has yeah. a different so name here. I Hope I Where Hope is that Ho uh, in New York? Who oh, is it? Is that by? Is that in the, That's. I forget where that exactly was. I thought it was about in the water somewhere, pretty much. Yeah, it's in the Jewish section of Brooklyn. No. Uh, <laughs> East East Street. Street. Yeah. That's where my kid lives, so watch it. Now, Sibby Itty, you're out in the island, aren't you, out in Long Island? That's been heavily yeah. hit right now with uh, the corona. Yeah, it is. Uh, we have a nursing home here. Uh, Caroline, I think, they have like 30 uh, people living there. Yeah. How dead, it, dead. Dead. Wow. They're not yeah. all. They're not all dead, are they? All of them. 29, 29 to thirty people dead. Uh, they declared last uh, Sunday. The whole, Sunday. the whole place. Yeah, the whole place. Shit. We um, hmm. yesterday we were driving back in the night, and we saw this big refrigerator truck parked there, uh, probably taking the bodies out. It's sad. Mm -hmm. Sibby, you have a uh, job. You work for a cable company. Yes. Is your job an essential uh, uh, job, or are, you, or are you sitting at home? I am working from home. Yeah, but they did uh, they did uh, announce a partial follow, so a pay cut. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the benefits are okay. So you know, uh, the benefits I need to. 
keep the where records. where is this that all the all these people died? The Long Island. It's a it's a nursing home. It's called Catalina. Oh. Caroline? Yeah. Or Catalina. Wow. Catalina a nursing home. Look for that. It's a town called Huntington. You'll be able to find it. This is really this is a this is just horrible. Close to Tony. This whole thing and it's is getting it's getting worse. I mean, you know, and you know what's scaring me? He's pushing for the states. You got a civil war brewing, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to turn it up. <laughs> huh? well, yesterday he said his power was absolute, which I thought was kind of strange. Yeah, yes. if you're the president, your power is absolute. Have his responsibility, though. What? What did you say? His power is not wait, wait, absolute. Wait, wait. That's why we have the constitution. Yeah. What? what did Ch- Charlie, what did you say? He he's, he says his power is absolute, but he has no responsibility at all. all right. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yes, I have no responsibility in this matter. What? Hear me. me scream. Ah. Did you guys uh, hear about the new uh, the thing that he's gonna do? He's gonna sign on those checks that sent out. It was. No, I heard about that. Is that true? It, I thought it was. It, it well, was it's on the check. On the checks that go out, he's gonna sign them. Uh, Last night he, but, he changed. You better cash it or it's gonna bounce. <laughs> but there's the a direct deposit, yeah. but he's coming out to each of your banks and delivering it. So you know. It's, I'm gonna you know. send him realize that I am not going to get a check. Really? Well, you took it for the loan, didn't you? The uh, you signed up for the program first. I hear they're holding up oh, small yeah. businesses, Phil. Hey, mine showed up last night. Another. Wait a minute. You for some reason we can't you hear you, Phil, and other people are talking. Yeah, it what? came. No, the uh, it came in my bank account last night. Yeah, really? Really? I haven't I seen mine yet. Mine either. Yeah. Mine either. I paid my taxes account. too, so there. Did you did you get your did you get your check, Kevin? <laughs> huh? Did you get your check? Yeah, I got mine deposit last night. Oh really? Because I <laughs> yeah. haven't seen mine yet at all. Um, you know. So. I'm gonna deposit it into the uh, Trump. Campaign fund tomorrow. <laughs> if they send me one, I was going to buy Trump gear. You know, the shirts, the hat. Oh, yeah, I got to get a Trumpy bear. I'll be raising the prices right now. <laughs> I'm going to get a Trumpy bear, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes Ray. I, I filed for unemployment in California because everything I do, I can't do uh, for money. And it took me about 15 hours because the first two times, if you don't save your data, Right away, they mm-hmm. dump everything, and you have to start over. Yeah. Yeah. How do you save your data on those sites? It, you press save, but um, you have to make sure you do it every half an hour. Oh, and yeah. then you also have to make sure you're done before 8 p.m., because if you're not, it closes down, and you got to start over again. Hey, we're from the government. We're here to help. Yeah. <laughs> it's, those new, it's those new computers they put in there 30 years ago. Yeah. yeah, the website hasn't changed. The last time I did it was uh, applied was about eight years ago. The website looks exactly the same. Yep. Yeah. Well, my question is, um, uh, let's see here, Sibby, have you seen check yet? No, it's supposed to be sometime this week. That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. T- uh, Maybe tonight. T- uh, Tony, have you seen the check? I, I don't have direct deposit, so I'm, I'm going to have to wait a little while. But my mom does. My sister and brother handle her account. So I can let you know at the end of the week if it's there. Because we usually go on Friday or so. Yeah. Or Saturday. Yeah. Kevin so my it. mom will get it first for direct deposit. Brian, how about you? Have you seen a check yet? I will see one. Why won't you see one? Because I'm out of the range. Oh, really? Because, I mean, if, if you're over a certain amount, I think you still get something. 99 is zero. Uh, at 99K, you're at zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably yeah but now if, if Marjorie and I f- file jointly, so it's it's how much money we make together. Thing. Huh? Uh, I think yeah. it's 100 and something at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 160. 160. And, and did you say you got it, Charlie, or you haven't seen it yet? Nope. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's there. It just went in. This nice. Is <laughs> Treat yourself yes. to a Chinese dinner. <laughs> Trump would hate that, Charlie. What a jinx. Wait a minute. It, it, it just got in there. He wants to I'm going to check. Tip the guy. Well, I Does it have Trump's picture on the check? Or a signature? Oh, All it says is U.S. Treasury deposit. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Well, let me $1, see. $1, and my Social Security came in early, too. Oh, oh, did it? I can't figure that out. I can't figure that stuff out. They they pay you on the weirdest days. 
It comes yeah. one day, it comes 10 days early, another day it comes five days late. I can't figure them out. Well, trying me, to pay the mortgage is like hell. Let me go, go to my Bank of America login here, and let me see if I got mine now. I didn't have it earlier tonight, but you never know. You never know. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I didn't go into my regular ch checking, but it went, and I didn't go into my regular savings. No, I, I don't... Uh, uh, nah, I haven't gotten it yet. Well, I'm no, not no. getting one either, but uh, because I'm an S Corp and any profits from the S Corp filter down into my uh, personal taxes. So if I have a loss, I can take it the personal tax. But if I have a profit, then uh, it inflates my personal tax. And therefore, uh, mm -hmm. I don't. Well, what about that uh, fifty-two thousand dollars you were supposed to get? That's yeah. Uh, well, actually, I uh, emailed the uh, the bank and I asked them what the status was, and they emailed me back today and they said that I've completed everything and it, they're just waiting for the SBA to create the documents. And then I sign something and they give me the dough. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. You know, it's basically a low interest That's loan. That's right, because you're friends with Trump. Yeah, well. He's on uh, the chat list. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, I, uh, you know, what this will do is instead of having people on state unemployment, I'll be paying them. I'm still on the hook for their uh, their taxes. Which so tax? I pay payroll taxes, which are not forgiven uh, in this PPP. So uh, eighty percent of the money has to go towards uh, uh, paying these guys. And, you know, I, even if I'm paying them and they can't work because I can't be open, they're still getting paid. But instead of being paid by the state, they're being paid through the federal government and forgiven. And it's a good thing. Yeah, but when they come back to work, Phil, you can take them all out to lunch, and if Trump gets his way, you can write it off. Uh, no, I thought that was taken away. Yeah, but he's going to bring it back. He said. Well, I'd like yeah. that. And will he? What about alcohol at lunch? Is that going to? Uh, he's going to bring it all back. He's going to yeah. bring it all back to stimulate the restaurants. That's what he said. Really? It's, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I said that's great. Party. You know, let's party. <laughs> Let's see here. We're being joined by Vernon Nunn. Are you there, Vernon? There we go. You're sideways, though, Vernon. You're in Vernon. You, you, you got a full house. Yeah, but you're you're sideways, Vernon. Turn so your phone. It's, you got to turn your phone. Um, yeah. There we go. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me get rid of. Right no, no. What do I got to do here? There yeah, my wife's phone's not flipping like it's supposed to. And there we go. Oh, it's kind okay. of going back. Yeah, that's uh, it. Let so. me see here. Let me go here. Vernon Nunn. I got to find him. <clears throat> there we go. But he he's sideways, folks. It might be locked. It, yeah. It might be locked is what the problem is. I haven't figured that out. Yeah, you got to go to the main screen and then unlock it. Unlock it. Well, anyway, can I ask Vernon a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, now, you work for Home Depot. At Home Depot, are they selling floor covering, or did they put, uh, like, a rope around that section, and they're only selling other other stuff like hammers and things? Did you lose them? Are you there? Can you hear us, uh, Vernon? You lost them. Vernon? Vernon? He's gone. Is yeah. he frozen? No, oh, well, we'll go back to where we were. May have hung up the Justice phone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, did uh, did anybody see what uh, <laughs> what MSNBC and CNN are doing to the president's press conferences? They're cutting them off. When it comes to advertising, they're cutting them off. Yeah, you say when yeah. he wants to talk about the coronavirus, we'll go back to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Not him anything. And so I, I did the dishes when he was doing all his advertising. MSNBC had a uh, thing with Fauci. He was being interviewed, and uh, they asked him uh, if uh, Trump had told Fauci that, uh, you know, if Fauci had told him about this virus and if Trump uh, delayed and, and, and so forth. And when Fauci said no, as soon as I told him and, and the uh, and what you call Scarfy told Trump, he immediately agreed to do whatever they had recommended. And so the guy from MSNBC just didn't want to hear that. He, you know, he, he kept asking him the same question over and over. And finally, Fauci just said, hey, I, I told you, he hasn't told me not to do anything. And anything I asked him to do, he's done. So they didn't like that. 
Had you seen that one? No. Uh, Are we losing Alex? No. No, I just am not responding. Yeah. Well, oh, there you go. I, well, I tell you what. You respond to everybody else. I'll go watch TV. All right? No, <laughs> I, no, I just wasn't responding. I'm sorry if I don't respond to you, almighty <laughs> Phil. Well, yes. I, I have my scepter, and uh, you shall respond. Yeah. But... Uh, did you did you see that Fauci interview? No, on C- I didn't. On MSNBC? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. So that's why I didn't say anything. Well, you could have said I didn't see it. Well, uh, this is radio, you know. Well, I didn't. Okay, Phil, I didn't see it. Ah, okay. Well, then you'll have to take my word for it. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, there are uh, uh, some people who who don't realize that. Uh, Donald Trump is a um, is is, they fear him. They fear that if they don't do what he says, they won't be part of the party, as it were. And uh, I think that's really a wrong way to get. Oh, here comes Vernon again. We're trying to get him. uh, So he's got uh, got uh, his computer uh, or something. Yeah, maybe he should go to his computer. No, there we go again. He, but he's he, good enough. He's vertical. You know, you it, don't have to he's, your neck. he's vertical. But but um, the problem with it is, is that, well, anyway. Put matter. him in a circle and you don't have to worry about huh? it. Huh? If he's in a circle, you don't have to worry about it. Put me in the secret square. <clears throat> huh? Hmm? Put me in the secret square. <laughs> put you in the secret <laughs> square. Out to the secret square. <laughs> no, uh, all I'm saying is, is that, that there seems to be a certain fear. I mean, a lot of the governors, for instance, are keeping quiet because... They, you know, they don't, they don't want to get on his bad side because they do need him. You mean and, uh, and, like and, Cuomo? And, and yeah, and I, yeah, I, like I'm Cuomo. Sure. I mean, Cuomo today said the reason he hasn't attacked Trump or done anything like that is that he doesn't feel this should be turned into a political fight, that this should be a, a cooperative effort, uh, and um, he's not going to lower himself to that kind of thing. Not what he said. Basically, he, that's what he, he said, said. Trump has been generous with him. No, that is. Did you hear every? Did you hear his thing today? I heard. I heard the the part that he said that uh, you know, unless Trump does something off the wall, uh, he's doing he's doing what we need him to do. And I'm no, extending what he was saying. He said, basically, extending no, that, my hand. That isn't what he was saying at all. I you you only heard what you wanted to hear, Phil. I, I thought about you. you I only. watch him every single day for the Me, whole yeah, thing. Uh, anybody see Cuomo today? I didn't see the whole thing. Okay, what it, Kevin? What morning. what what did he what did he say about the whole situation with Trump? Well, that's pretty much what he said. He was he was trying not to put it into a political spin, but then on Trump's defense, he came out pretty much today and kind of kind of was a little bit on the. Uh, neutral side as well yesterday he was really offensive today he was a little more neutral who was neutral trump a trump yeah but what i'm saying is that what uh, what cuomo was saying was that uh, in a in in not maybe not in his press conference but in other interviews is is that he was appalled by the fact well i think he said this in his thing today that the the president seems to think he's a king and he's not a king Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and he's not that he isn't going to be treated like a king, he <laughs> said. But I don't want to get into any real fights about this because this isn't we don't want to fight right now. We want to cooperate. We want to work together. We want yeah, to solve this Yeah, that's where I thing. saw Trump come back and, and try and neutralize that by by realizing that, you know, it is a federal and states issue. You know, mm-hmm. he, he's got to realize that because it is at the end of the day. It's going to be a federal and state issue, and he's divided the country into a federal and state issue with the with the whole thing with the supplies, and so he's got to realize that when they turn the switch on, this is not like flipping the switch on the way it was flipping it off. This is like turning the power back on. You got to call the power company and let them know we're going to turn on a little bit at a time, and that's the way it's got to be. Yeah. And he's not going to necessarily turn everything on and you know, do the big countdown and have the fireworks. He's got to turn, tell the, uh, you know, give guidance to the to the states, and the states have to sit back and say, okay, well, we're not ready for it yet, but thanks for the advice. Well, I heard some constitutional scholars saying today 
that the states really are individual and have their own rights. And the president and the federal doesn't serve the, the states. The states give the federal power. Hmm. It, it's like if he wants to treat this like a company, like he always has, it's just like the board. Of super, you know, it's just like the board. Mm -hmm. He's the president, yes, but the board has to make the decision. And the states are the board. Yeah. Yeah. And didn't they say that the sense that it was the states that stopped everything? They're the ones that have to pick it up. Right. right. I mean, basically, he's he's making he is, you know, the board the supervisor, the CEO, mm -hmm. but you have all the other vice presidents and everything else around the board table that help make the final decisions. Right. But also that the states, the state, I don't know how they were putting it, but the states really don't work in the service of the government. The government works in the service of the states, mm -hmm. if that makes yeah. any sense. Uh, and that he can't just suddenly say to all the states, you're going to do this, right? He can't no. do that. No. He doesn't have the right to do that. Yeah. No, that's that's. I think authoritarian. That's right. but, yeah. I, but I think yesterday when he... When he said, oh, this is the coronavirus task force debriefing. And then the whole thing, I looked at the timing on it yeah, because I have a copy of it. It's two hours and 25 minutes, that press conference yesterday. And for most of it, he was there defending himself and running that damn commercial he made for himself. Yeah. And it was at that, that was point that CNN and MSNBC said, uh-uh. This is not about what he's what it's supposed to be about. He is out there politicking. He's out there running a commercial that you would see at, say, the Republican convention, you know, and not uh, what he's supposed to be talking about. So we'll go back to him when he is. And they that was both, the most bizarre thing I've seen. Yeah, was I, I was watching Fox, so I didn't see it get cut off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, oh, oh, Fox didn't cut it off. Oh, you, Fox no, it no. If I want to watch it through, I watch Fox. <laughs> but I mean, what, what was yeah. he doing? Doing a two and a half hour thing, you know? And it was a sparring match. I mean, they the yeah. the press was baiting him. Yeah, you know, they yeah. were baiting him, and they were just pulling him in, and he was he was biting every hook he could see. Yeah. Two and a half hours is like a show on Gabnet. It, yeah. it was. I you know, I gotta I gotta admit, you know, the, the press was just pulling him in. Hook, line, and sinker, man. It was it was ridiculous, and he was biting every one of them. Alex uh, Bryan's got his hand yeah. up. Uh, uh, Jeff. Uh, yes, sometimes I can't see hands. So yeah. who had his hand up first, Phil? Brian and then Jeff. Okay, Brian and then Jeff. Yes, Brian. Yes, yeah, so I, I was doing some work, and I saw I had it on on, on the uh, that that one site that you were talking about the other night. Now this, have you ever seen that? So yeah. what they do during the press conference, they have that, and they have this fact checker that will interrupt him, they pause him, or they, they keep him going, but they mute They mute Trump, and then they start saying all these facts mm -hmm. that when he continues to say stuff about uh, uh, releasing, you know, stopping all the air flights from China, then they start saying, well, actually, there's reports that there are 40,000 people still coming in that will live here and all that stuff. <clears throat> uh, but I was watching it on that, and, yeah, they didn't cut it off, and it was so bizarre because he was, he was thanking and saying that he's going to meet with all these companies when they start bringing everything up. He started talking about North of Grumman. He started talking about uh, the Papa John's pizza. All these people, uh, like you can see, like advertising. It was so bizarre. Oh, good, Phil's going. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was so bizarre. He spent like 20 minutes on it. it just yeah. Company yeah. after company. And just kept saying, oh, uh, how beautiful hospital this is. And they, just going back and forth. It was so strange. Well, I like the one a couple of weeks ago where the My Pillow guy was there. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know. Uh, well, it's almost like he's he's interviewing a NASCAR car driver, and he's trying to throw in as many names as he can. He gets paid for every one of them. Almost. Yeah. Oh, it's bizarre. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, Jeff, you had your hand up. Well, I, I think the president loves to talk about anything. And and all he has to do is pick the name of some manufacturer, and, and, and there he is. You know? and, 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 and then he tells you all of the stuff that they're working on, and then you find out in two days they're not doing anything. Well, I think there is some point at which something got blurred in his life between doing a television show 
and being yeah. president of the United States. You know, uh, in fact, on one of his uh, one of his press conferences, he said, "Well, I'm going to let all the other people talk now, and I'll be back." It's like we were yeah. we were breaking for a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know, brought to you by and, and, and then he keeps talking about how big his ratings are for these uh, press conferences, which, by the way, have gotten lower and lower and lower and lower. Yeah. You know, yes. Um, yes, uh, I Jeff. Think, I think I think the best thing is that every time I hear people on the news, they're saying less and less positive stuff about Trump and being more and more critical. And he goes ballistic on that stuff. Well, I think they're tired. I'll tell you. It's about time. I'll tell you. He is the ultimate bully in that if he has a a, a bunch of people like the press uh, who he then beats up on and they don't say anything because they don't say anything because they don't want to lose their press credentials. They don't want they want to be able to get into these press conferences. Right. They want to be able to ask him questions and so on. So he uses that as a way of bullying them. And now I think they're sick of it. They're sick of being bullied, and they're starting to hit back. And that's why yeah. these press conferences have become so miserable for him. Yeah. You know? Wonderful. Yeah. Is, is Phil still there, or is he? <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, he, he went out. He went to Ruth Chris's for dinner, and he's <laughs> back now. Um. So, oh. so I think that they, they, they've started kind of fighting back. But the thing that bothered me the other day, there was this blonde reporter. I don't know who she was. And I see oh, you yeah. putting your hand up, Sibby, so I'll go to you next. And she kept trying to ask him a question, and he kept interrupting her. He wouldn't let her finish the question so that he could then answer it. He kept, as soon as she started in, he went, no, 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 blah, 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 blah. You remember? And he kept interrupting her. And I'm going, just let her ask her question. Then when she's through asking the question, you can tell her she's a cunt if you want to. You know, you anything notice, you want to. But at he least. He does that to a lot of a lot of the reporters. He'll he'll interrupt halfway through the question and finish off what he heard. Yeah. And never let them finish the question. Yeah. And I think it would be uh, uh, beholden to him if he's holding a press conference to allow the press to ask questions. Sibby, you had your hand up. Yeah, so I, I read somewhere that he is doing that because he mentioned to somebody that I do this to this reporter so that I destroy their credibility so that if they mm -hmm. write anything negative about me, no one's going to believe. That's the whole logic of him doing that. He's psychologically trying to destroy their credibility. I the agree. people, when they read whatever they wrote, oh, this is the person that Trump said that, oh, she is just useless, like yeah. that. Well, there was a, there was a um, um, uh, it, the, every time anybody says anything, he says, oh, and you're fake news, by the way, you're fake news. And, you know, you remember the boy who cried wolf? Well, he may be the boy who cried fake news. I mean, he yeah. does it so often that now nobody believes him when he calls something fake news. He just mm -hmm. figures, I guess that guy's getting under his skin. So he's dismissing him. Not by answering his question and giving him a logical answer. Yes, Vernon. If you guys remember back during Hurricane Katrina, mm -hmm. one of the big um, criticisms of the Bush administration was not reacting fast enough and bringing in FEMA and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And if you recall, the reason that FEMA did not act faster was because the state governor in Louisiana mm -hmm. did not ask for help. So for for this example of the coronavirus, mm -hmm. FEMA and the federal government can't do squat until a governor asks for help. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask Phil a question. Is Phil, are you around at all? <laughs> He's on a pee-pee break. He's on a pee-pee break? Well, he yeah. must have had several pee-pee breaks there. <laughs> because what I wanted to ask him is, you know, we've been told over and over again that, oh, I closed China down, mm -hmm. okay? Well, yes, he closed travel into the United States from China down. Mm -hmm. But during that time that it was, that it was finally shut down, 44,000 Chinese came into this country anyway. In fact, my wife's boss came in from Hong Kong. Mm 
just a few mm. months, about a but month and a Europe. half ago. Yeah. yeah. No, not via Europe, from Hong Kong. <laughs> well, okay. same thing. Uh, so what, what is with this whole uh, nonsense that he uh, stopped it? Now, secondly, so what if he did? That's not where the coronavirus came from. You know what they're finding out now because they've done a lot of research where it came from? Europe. Europe. It didn't come from China. It came from Europe. And that's the reason why uh, especially New York got hit so hard. Uh, but they say that it did not originate in China, at least the, 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 the strain that is in this country. It started in Europe. So, you know. What do you think about that, Phil? It's true, because he really got hammered. Huh? That, that blonde was asking him about the missing February. In the oh, day. yeah, that was the missing February. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, well, I did I in January. The credibility, <laughs> yeah, the credibility is exactly, exactly right. Because I know what they'll do is they'll ask it. They'll say, you know, you know, we've heard a number of blah, blah, blah. And then he'll say, how many? How many? And then they'll try to complete the question, and he'll keep attacking them. How many? Just like you said, he's trying to reduce the credibility of the. If he would be better, you know, if he, I think he's going to have a, a real hard time getting reelected, even mm -hmm. with a lightweight like Joe Biden. Okay, um, and the reason is is that he's really blowing it now. This is the time he could be getting the confidence yep. of a lot of Americans. And he's simply not getting the confidence of Americans. Yes, uh, Vernon. Did you hear the results of the Wisconsin uh, primary? One of the biggest takeaways from that was a Democratic judge ups, uh, unseated a Republican incumbent on the Supreme Court in Wisconsin. Yep. And their Supreme Court is considering some purging of voter rolls, which will probably not happen now that this Democratic judge was elected to their Supreme Court, which could mean that Wisconsin will not lean towards Trump this time without all that purging. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what didn't wasn't uh, wasn't uh, Trump touting that guy, the the Republican yes. in that in that race? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Trump was touting him, and he was an incumbent, so he was he was uh, running for a second term. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, who knows? Uh, and uh, Trump is setting up a, uh, in case he loses, uh, he's setting it all up to argue. I mean, he, he set it up the last time when he ran. He was setting it up by saying, well, it's all, the fix is in. You know, the fix is in. And then when he won, I guess the fix was in. Yeah. You know? I mean, uh, he's setting it up now by kind of saying, oh, well, if we do paper ballots, well, what are you going to do in this situation? Are you going to have people going to polling places? Are you out of your <laughs> mind? You know. He does, yeah. You know, it's, you know what it is? The walls are closing in on him. His worst nightmare is coming true. You know, this he never saw this probably coming like this. Yeah, well, I mean. I mean he's gone in by, by a virus, really. I mean, that's really what it is. Well, the thing is that he really, um, um, uh, uh, it, it, it's just uh, the whole idea that, that it's going to be uh, a, a problem to have uh, mail-in votes because they can be cheating and so on. When they, in all the time that they've had mail-in in a lot of states, I think it's been only like one vote hmm. that ever I mean, was illegitimate. You know, yes, Ray. I mean, if he would simply uh, show the kind of leadership that Cuomo and Gavin Newsom are showing. He could it could actually help him. Yeah. Uh, but he, he just can't do it. He, you know, he's showing his true self. He's just not a nice guy. Yeah. But you know, no matter he can he can't even act the part being a nice guy. Well, I mean, uh, I think that he, he, you know, he he needs to show the kind of leadership we expect out of a president in this kind of uh, time. And I think he isn't. Phil, how do you feel he's doing? He's Truthfully, he's how do you time. feel he's doing? He's doing the best he can. Wait a minute. Let me, let me, hold on a second. Let me ask Phil. When you say he's doing the best he can, are you saying he's doing the best Trump can? <laughs> no, I mean, this is his personality. 
these are nobody's perfect and he is far from it but you know the the thing is uh there's some things he does very well uh public speaking is not one of them and uh you know being a a, a soft warm-hearted guy into in public i think in in his personal life he happens to be a very generous guy but when it when it comes to coming across on camera that isn't scripted, uh, he just doesn't uh, doesn't come across well, and he's just doing the best he can. Well, but he's been in television for years, and part doesn't of that in radio for years. You now you're on a podcast. Brian's got his hand up. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, but uh, and we'll go to Brian in a second. But he's been it was in television for years. He should know how to <clears throat> suck up to the public, you know, I, because that. He, but that wasn't his job when he was on TV. His job was to be an asshole. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. He does. Yes. Yeah. Brian? Can we change the subject? Yes. Some positivity? Sure. How about Obama today? Mm. Uh, I was going to bring that up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, he... You think Me Too will do that as well? What? Uh, hashtag Me Too will endorse Biden? He's up for charges. I Who cares? That Obama. I, I don't get the joke, Phil. Well, it's not a joke. What's happening is, is a double standard. When they went after Kavanaugh uh, and uh, the, the Me Too people uh, went after Kavanaugh, it was because he was a Republican. Now that it's uh, Biden, they're giving, him a, uh, they're giving him a pass on these accusations. Aren't these women to be believed like the women well, that well, accused what, what, what women? Uh, I haven't heard the things about Biden. I, you, you don't listen to the news. There, uh, there was a Democratic, uh, uh, and she was a lawyer and, and so forth, that worked for Biden in his campaign that mm-hmm. says that, he, that she says that he raped her. And uh, she has uh, made accusations. But this is, this is being glossed over. Uh, I, I think Sibby is, uh, is aware of it. Do you want to uh, uh, talk about it? Because if I say it, then they're not going to believe it. <laughs> no, I'm aware of it. I, I, I read it. Okay, yeah, why, yeah, why is this woman not to be believed, but Blasey Ford and uh, the other women that came forward against Kavanaugh aren't? So, you know, because we a, don't have a hearing for a vice president, vice presidential, or I mean a presidential candidate. We don't sit down in front of Congress and have a hearing to see if they qualify. I mean, we know that uh, Trump did all those kinds of things. Yeah, but uh, he okay. Only said uh, yeah, but what I'm could, saying, what I'm saying is, is that. Uh, to begin with, I I, I had to, haven't seen this. Is this new? Has this been just been the last couple of days? It, it's it is news. I, I I have I don't know the details, but there is a woman who is accusing him of sexually assaulting her like 25 years ago. Uh, 1996. I think. Yeah. Huh? What Brian? I didn't 1996. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there? Should there be? Shouldn't there be a statute of limitations on accusations? I mean. Well, they got Bill, Bill Cosby, remember? You know. But how did you like Obama today? Uh, what I saw of him, and I didn't see the whole thing. My wife saw the whole thing and said he was wonderful. Yeah. You know? Uh, I saw the whole thing. It was terrific. Yeah. yeah. What a president should be like. Y- well, you know, I mean, the thing is that you really kind of, you know, he, he, there's something about Obama that's really likable, you know, that's really, and makes you feel good. Uh, he, you know, it's it's um, it's so refreshing when you hear him. Uh, but I hear he did a really good job of it, and he's the guy that got uh, 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 what's his name uh, uh, Sanders uh, to uh, to finally give in and to endorse Biden because mm-hmm. he said that's what's good for the party. You know, yep. let's um, not turn this into a bitch fight. You know, Time magazine, former Senate staffer accuses Joe Biden of sexual assault. Um, uh, New York Times examining Tara Reid's sexual assault allegation against Joe Biden. When Uh, when was that, Phil? When was it? The uh, three days ago. No, uh, no. When when did uh, when was the. Event. Oh, it was the assault, uh, 1993. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> and, and bring it up now. Good timing. But, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, she actually uh, uh, did bring it up uh, originally. And uh, anyway, uh, yeah, she says she worked for an assistant in uh, Biden's uh, uh, assistant, in Mr. Biden. 
Did he grab her pussy or uh, what? Yeah. Was there uh, beer involved? Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like he uh, grabbed her in an elevator and threw her up against the wall and started uh, kissing and fondling her hair. Oh, okay, but he didn't grab her pussy. Kissing then. and like, fondling her hair—that isn't rape, Phil. Uh, no, there's uh, there's that's more unwanted. That's unwanted uh, attention. Yeah. Did you like hey, beer? Thirty thousand dollars. Shut up. What I heard was a rape charge, but uh, I'll have to look further. Well, it, but all you found was sniffing of hair. Is that it, Phil? Oh, no, 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 no. You, you thought you, know, you, like you, you, thought you saw though. rape, but to you, sniffing yeah, hair is no, rape. It, it, uh, did Kavanaugh, was he accused of doing anything more than climbing on top of someone in a, in a bed and holding her down uh, against her will for uh, and laughing? It, it, that's it, how beer. judges. We don't approve presidential <laughs> candidates that way. <laughs> but that's, Brian heard me. <laughs> is there a meat? <laughs> what, what, did you, what did you say, Kevin? Yeah. He likes beer. He likes beer. He likes beer. Is there a uh, a uh, a false equivalency here? What you know, about the what, shit that Trump it, did, Phil? It doesn't matter what Trump did. Oh, yes, it does. What do you call that, Alex? Well, a what aboutism? That's not a what aboutism. It's true. it's not a what aboutism when anybody else says it. No, Only, but, I mean, I, if Biden did it, that's I agree, Phil. Let's investigate, investigate him. It, but yes. what about what Trump did? Let's take down this uh, proletariat. <laughs> <laughs> put him on the stand now. Get it over with. Get him. Get put him up against the wall. Get the firing squad. Yeah. yeah. Get him some beer. Well, no, yeah. you know, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the story, and I'd have to look at it. And I'm, I'm, you know, I look. Uh, there's a certain, and I, 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 I don't know how to put this. I, I, I went to a conference once in Washington in which a uh, person really gave a speech about the sexual pro, pro, proclivities of politicians and that they are the horniest, randiest bunch of people ever, you know. And the, by the way, the most uh, requested sexual activity by politicians is S&M, not mm. them beating somebody up, them being beaten up that uh, they are in power all day long, and so they like to give up the power as a sexual thing. This Tara Reid, yeah. uh, when she was younger, she was your type. She's I, I would say that was your type, right? Yeah, that's my type, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, mean, I guess my point, Phil, was is that Trump became president, and he had numerous sexual allegations mm -hmm. left against him. It's my that's and 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 people wanted to investigate. There was all sorts of things. That, there were people that came out and accused him. Uh, he had a lot of problems over this, including you know Avenatti and those guys. But here, Biden is being accused of similar actions, but no one is in is is giving it any uh, thought as to investigating it because it's Biden. All he has to do is say he never knew her. And because we're in the middle of a over and over again. Over when he when she was you know has proof that he was in her campaign. And well, a bunch of people say that she's making it up. Uh, I don't know. Son of a bitch, so we've I'm run out of it. we've run out of time. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Brian. Brian, Brian keep ca keep calling. We love <laughs> having you here, Brian. Please. Yeah. Keep calling. You're, you're terrific. I could never get on. Now I finally got the magic, so I'm good. Oh yeah, it's easy. Once you do it once, it's like it's like having sex. Uh, Charlie <laughs> Wallace, say that. thank you. Ray, thank you. <laughs> Phil, thank you as you're always. Uh, Kevin, good to have you here. Uh, you, you were with me on Saturday night when I was doing a test. Uh, Sibiety, always good to hear from you. And that story about what's happening out in Long Island just scary, scary. Oh. Jeff, good seeing you. Tony, good seeing you. Good seeing all of you. Why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I will give a big wave goodbye at you back. Okay, have a nice night, guys. Uh, that's it for tonight. That's our little program. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, um, let me just get rid of these people, and let me also turn off the uh, Skype so that the next show, which is... The intersection with Jack Bishop can make use of it. I'll see you tomorrow night right back here. 1030. P uh, 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 what is it? Uh, Eastern Daylight Time. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, 
Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.